Hey guys, thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. I am Star of the Flippin' Hippo. Today I'm going to show you how I steam our plush or stuffed animals when we bring them home. When we bring home big old bags of them from the thrift store or boxes of them from the yard sales, we do steam all of the plush to sterilize them and get them clean before bringing them into our home. This is the uh, steamer that we use. It is the Fabric Steamer by Shark. And I will put a link down below to where you can purchase it on Amazon for yourself. We love it. It is a canister that you can pick up and carry around if you want to have a handheld steamer. Or you can set the canister down on the base, which has wheels. And I love it because of my bad back. I can wheel this thing all over the room. And it is adjustable. It has a place here to hang your hangers. So if you were doing shirts, skirts, clothing, um, if you have these kinds of skirts for pants, these kinds of hangers for skirts and pants, it is adjustable. So if you didn't have a bad back, you could uh, put these up all the way and stand up and steam. I do have a bad back, so I usually lower it like this and hang my clothes and steam them from a sitting position. And then when I'm doing plush, I lower it even more and I flip it around. Now you can hear it, I have it on, it is continuous steam. So you turn it on and you leave it on the whole time that you're gonna use it. You can refill the water in the canister while it's on. Um, it gets kind of loud sometimes, so I, you may feel like I'm yelling at ya. I'm just trying to be heard over the steam. Um, before we get started, I am going to tell you, this is supposed to have a booty on it. It's a little cloth piece, um, terry cloth I guess it is that fits right over it real tight it's called a booty in all of the instructions that came with it it says that you're not supposed to use it without the booty um, so this is where I tell you guys to do what I say and not what I do obviously I have no regards for my own personal safety and I don't want anyone else to get hurt you can get burned if you misuse this or don't use it properly you can um, get steam burned and sometimes water will leak out depending on how you're holding this and you can get hot water on you. So per all the recommendations and this full disclaimer, you should have the booty on it at all times. I felt like it was hindering me. I didn't feel like there was enough steam coming out. I do what I want. You guys have seen me cut boxes open towards myself with a knife and scissors. Um, again, no regards for personal safety, but I do want you guys to be safe. So leave your booties on, and um, in actuality, I don't even know where mine went. I took it off, I didn't like it, and then Keith took it to wash it, and we haven't seen it since. I think it's hanging out somewhere with all those socks that are missing their mates. You know how you always end up losing just one sock out of a pair, like every time you do laundry? I think that's where it went. All right, so anyway, that disclaimer aside, um, this is how we do it. Now, I'm just going to show you on some of these guys here instead of actual store plush. I had some of my hippos volunteer tribute to be steamed today for the video. So we're going to start with little Haley. And this is the little hippo that Dave and Bill gave us when they came out to visit. And I wanted to show you how I do a little one. Because these are a little harder because there's less to hold on to as you're steaming. But I'll just hold them by their feet and kind of just go up and down real slow over the whole plush. See? And I'll turn her around. And then I turn them upside down and grab their little heads. And I do their, their front and their back again. And you can feel the plush getting damp and hot so you know you're steaming it. And just be real careful when you get close to the parts with your fingers. And then with bigger ones like this, I'll kind of grab them around the middle. And just kind of... I touch the steamer right to them. It's probably better if you have the booty on. I'll turn her over and get the other side. This cute purple hippo still doesn't have a name guys she was sent to me by Robin and she's such a sweet little hippo but she still doesn't have a name and then here's Hannah that was sent to me by Noelle farm girl scavenger and she's a little bit bigger than even the little purple one so 
so you can kind of see how I just kind of you can either hold the animal still and run your steamer up and down the animal or hold your steamer still and run it sometimes after I've steamed all of them and they're in the chair this is a rolly chair I'm putting them on I'll just kind of go over the mountain like this kind of get them a little extra and then if you do have super big plush we're going to show you with Henry Henry was the first one to volunteer tribute he is my bravest hippo Henry was sent to me by Alma of my thrifted escape now he's big you all know Henry's pretty big so with big ones like Henry I literally just set them in the chair across from me and I'll just work you know on his face maybe I'll lift up one of his little arms and do that Henry you get in the bath buddy you getting all clean Henry he looks very happy None of my hippos look pleased with me right now. This is the worst part for them. So after I get the top done, I would flip him over. Upside down in the chair, if y'all can see. Poor Henry. <laughs> and I would hold him by his neck. Sorry. And do his little tush. And his legs. And you can kind of just run it over. Just up and down. Back and forth. Turn the plush around all over. You want to make sure you get every inch of them. The thing I really like about this shark steamer, and no, they do not pay me. This is not a paid advertisement. Um, I just really like the shark steamer. Um, it does, on the box, proclaim that it kills bed bugs and their eggs and dust mites. Um, obviously, hot water that is hot enough to steam is going to sterilize and kill germs so any steamer will sterilize um, but this one says it kills all of those nasty little things we're all kind of worried about when we bring in thrifted and used items so that was part of the reason I bought this one because it said that on the box and I'm like well hey isn't that what all thrifters worry about um, but the other biggest reason is because it's this pole is totally adjustable. I can have it at any height I need. I can use it sitting down. It's on wheels, so I don't have to lift it. I don't have to bend over. I don't have to pick up a heavy thing full of water. Um, and you can fill it while it's running. So Keith will usually fill it up like once a week for me. You can fill it up when it's off too. And uh, just whenever we bring in animals, or clothes that are new with tags or dry clean only that we can't stick in the washer and the dryer. We steam all of that every week before the haul video that you guys see the clothes in and the animals. But yeah, it's that easy. You just let it get to steam in. Can you see it? It's pumping out, making noise. And just get every little bit of the animal. Um, if you were a little more concerned about your own personal safety than I am, you could see how it goes right on in that thing. I love it. You could get a hanger like one of these meant for skirts or pants, you know, and you could clip it, say, like on Haley's dress. And you could hang Haley on the pole. Flip it around. And then you could just steam her while she's on the pole. Can you see if you over Miss Purple? So you could do that too. I just hold them. Sometimes I'll pile them in the chair and just move them around. But you just want to make sure you get every little bit of them just to get them clean and sterilized. Now, of course, if your plushie's dirty, visibly dirty, or has stains on it, you want to take care of those with a magic eraser, some awesome. And sometimes they will need to go through the washing machine, but I don't recommend the dryer. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let my hippos um, relax tonight. I'm not gonna make them list or do any work since they volunteer tribute to be steamed in the video. Let them have the night off. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments what you think, um, if you have any tricks or tips about plush. 
um, that I've never mentioned. Or if you have any more questions about plush, um, as far as steaming them or thrifting them, anything you guys want to know. You guys know I love to hear from you guys and I like to answer questions. Like the video before you leave if you would, and if you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Until next time, you guys have a good night.